my name is Ayushi Divedi and I am back with another tutorial video. So today's tutorial video is about the app which we have been building uh, in last few days. So the name of the day app is Lottery Day app. So let's go to the smart contract of this uh, day app. Here I'll explain you the functions which I have made in this smart contract. So let's go to the first function that is get winner by lottery. This function will return the lottery history by taking the lottery number. Then the next one is get balance. This function will show the total balance which all the participants have put in in the lottery. Then going to moving to the next function. This is get players. This function will show the list of the players so we'll show the list of the participants who have participated in the lottery then the next one is enter this will show you uh, this has a constant that is the person who has put in this much amount of ether can only enter the lottery then next we have get random number this will generate a random number which we have used to pick the winner here we in this function we are picking the winner and this function can only be accessible by the owner of the lottery because the owner of the lottery can pick the winner so here we have used get random number which will pick the winner and after the winner is choose we are going to transfer the amount which everyone had put in for the lottery that amount will be transferred to the winner's wallet so yeah this was a very simple and basic smart contract for the lottery d app now let's move towards how to run this lottery d app so let's go to the terminal and here is a here is one github repo for the lottery d app so let's start step by step so here you can see set private key in the env file so here is our env file you can see let me remove this address this will generate right right now and this is the private key of the owner so using this private key we are going to deploy the smart contract so this is the private key of the owner and let's go to the readme again and now we have to use npx hard hat compile let's go to the terminal so here i will show you how to compile the d app so for that we have the command npx hard hat compile this is already compiled and then going to the readme again we have this command called npx hard hat run and with and we are going to use deploy.ts for this copy this and let's run this this will generate a what uh, address of the smart contract so here we have the smart contract address we need to copy this and again we'll go to env file and here we'll paste the address and after that see you can see here contract address deployed to this and we just saw this on our terminal and so we have copied this and pasted it in the env file <coughs> next for front end we have the command called yarn install for that yarn install so things are already installed now we need to run so for that we have yarn dev dev so this is running let's go to our local host port number 3000 so this is the private key of the account that we have used for deploying the smart contract 
and now let's go back to this and let's uh, add some participants so for that we need some uh, accounts side accounts on our metamask wallet so for that let this is this was the account from which we have deployed the smart contract let's move to some other account let's say account 2 and here we need to enter the amount let's say 20 and the lottery then we'll, we will have to sign the transaction and this is account 2 and 25 tokens and now you are going to sign this transaction so this way you can enter uh, the lottery it will take a few seconds yes so yeah, here you can see 25 coins and number of players is just one and you can see the list of the players over here let's add one more count uh, let's go to account 3 and same amount we can enter or any other you can it's your choice so enter lottery you can see uh, account 3 and 25 tokens again you need to confirm this it will take few seconds yes so the second uh, player is or has also participated uh, let's play with uh, four players going to account four or five four this has some uh, amount so let's go to account four and enter the lottery yeah so third player has also entered the lottery same way we can do the other player one more player we can add let's say account five account five has no balance so we'll go with account six here and entering 20 tokens into lottery this is account four right account six and enter 20 into lottery account six you can see here and confirm so here are four players now and now we will move to the owner's account because the owner is the only one who can pick the winner and let's select the owner's account that was account eight account eight uh before that i want you guys to notice the amount uh, account 2 is this 35, account 3 is 73, account 4 is 90, and account 8 is 106. So, uh, after the lot, the winner uh, is picked up, the amount in any one of these accounts will increase automatically. So, let's select account 8. This is the owner's account. So, here you can see pick winner. Now we'll pick the winner. You need to sign the transaction. And here, this is the winner. This is the winner of the lottery. And this is this address you can see, and we'll verify the amount. This is account. I think account two won the lottery. Yes, you have won one lottery. So yeah, this was a small demo of the D app which we have built. Thank you for watching and if you have questions, you can uh, ask them in our community channels or anywhere you want.